Welcome back. The 10th annual Local 10 Day of Giving was full of great enthusiasm from Local 10 mascots to friendly competition among our on-air talent. Friendly, friendly. <laughs> and for another year, you came through South Florida with your generous food donations. Local 10's Alex Finney has all the day's highlights. Good morning, our little turkey ladies. You look like guys look so great out there. <laughs> Before the crack of dawn. We are so excited to be back in our turkey apron. At least two turkeys were up hungry for your food donation. We've got the pasta. We have a lot of bogos with stuffing, cereals, everything that you could imagine. Christy and Denise kicked off our 10th annual Day of Giving at the Publix in Pembroke Pine, where local 10 viewers definitely showed up. And look at this, all of this from Amy. All to help Nana share a meal and stock up on Thanksgiving essentials. We want to make sure that the, every family has the opportunity to have a wonderful Thanksgiving. From the 954 to the 305. How are things looking in Kendall, Andrew? Day of Giving newbie and my co-anchor Andrew Perez brought on the heat at the Publix on South Dayland Boulevard. I got the best co-anchor, bam! Bernie from the Miami Heat! Bernie and his antics. Next box, next box. <laughs> Here, let me help you out. All right, one, two, there we go. Along with two Miami Heat dancers all helped to benefit the nonprofit there, Joshua's Park. They collected 35 boxes of food by noon. And speaking of noon, this year we have a secret weapon. The challenge was on between Calvin and Nicole in Hollywood and Louie in Fort Lauderdale. Game on. 200 pounds over here. Stanley from the Florida Panthers promised to take a bite out of the competition, collecting 1,000 pounds of food for Harvest Drive. We want these families and their children to have a happy holiday, and we're making that happen with your help from local Ten and Publix. But even he was no match for this little tiger's roar. We are waiting for you all to come here to this Publix before Reese has a little minor meltdown. But all agree, baby Reese was the clear winner. And in my hometown of Miami Shores, that Goya oh truck goodness. is for Make-A-Wish veterans. Oh, my, 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 my. A special delivery for Make-A-Wish veterans. <laughs> 2,000 pounds of food, courtesy of Goya. We have everything that <laughs> the veterans and the people you serve will need for Thanksgiving and beyond. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That amazing gift paved the way for Louie and I to team up later in the afternoon. There, hello. And this is just a treat for me on, yeah. on so many levels. And ensure Miami Shores takes home the Day of Giving prize. Thank you. Local 10 viewers, of course, did not disappoint. Look at this yes. pile. Unbelievable. Incredible. Curly's House Food Pantry received huge support. This is really great. This is going to help so many programs throughout Miami-Dade County, as well as individuals, families, kids, and everybody else that are in need. So this is wonderful. And all of the other six nonprofits are so grateful too. All right, so the big reveal, the drum roll please. In total, we have been able to collect 16,465 pounds of food South Florida, you are absolutely fantastic. We could not have done this without all of our lovely and generous viewers over at Local 10. This is definitely going to put a smile on so many faces and keep so many bellies full this Thanksgiving season. So big thank you. For now, this is the very latest. We're in Miami Shores. Alex Finney, Local 10 News. <laughs>